Oh, is this the episode? Welcome to another episode of Five Idiots Talking Toys. I'm Shane, and we're here on a Sunday night with another topic for our podcast that comes out every week at 6 p.m. Eastern. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Help us grow this thing. Like the video and comment below. Let us know what you thought about this topic. Uh, if you had some uh, that come to mind that you've come across in your collecting journey, we are going to talk about peg warmers. They are toys that either were created in abundance, they were either high priced, they just didn't hit with the audience, with the collectors, with the kids for some reason, they were maybe from a, a bad movie, something went wrong, they, were made, they made too many, they sold too few, and they are sitting on the shelves, either as clearance or maybe not clearance, and they sit there forever. Charles is here, Lord Walden is behind him, and Brandon is up north. Thanks very much for joining us, fellas. Are you ready to talk about unwanted toys in the store? Yes. Mm. Let's do it. Let's unwanted. do it. Unwanted toys. Poor toys. What comes to your mind when you think of that first? Is there like a single figure or a and, uh, line that that you think of you know seeing in the in the store for you know weeks on end or months on end or you modern know. landos every yeah. walmart every target has every lando modern landos are on the racks i on think the that, on the pegs i think They're the only the only modern lando that i've seen is that has not been a peg warmer has been from the han solo movie with uh chris uh, with uh what's the name glover um um i think the the lando the lando skiffs sold okay i don't see too many of those i see i saw a bunch of those at ollie's last weekend oh well yeah. never mind i usually i'm talking about the, ba the bespin ones and the generals is that because yeah. no one's buying them or because uh they make more of lando than anyone else i wonder why I Why know, would they but... make more of a of a figure that they know won't sell that much? I don't. I don't know. I think it's also uh, we can go through a couple of different ideas that he's that not, he's not a main character of why a certain character or or figure or toy will be a peg warmer. But I think it's also when they put a new show out and there's a character that they predict is going to be a big one and is not and is not well received by the audience. And that can be the reason why it sits. Um, you know, somebody that jumps to mind, uh, I don't know if this toy sat, but Reva from Obi-Wan Kenobi series, uh, she really, the, the audience did not seem to like that character. They were I, like mad I, that she was on screen as much I hated as she her. was. I, have, I hated I've her and I hated uh, little Leia. Oh, I've I seen like, plenty, I like of, Leia. plenty of Reva still for sale. Yeah, no. so I mean... That might have been a, a uh, you know, she was <clears throat> one of the stars of the show. I mean, that's how she was billed. That's how she received screen time. And Disney, Hasbro, whoever may have really banked on that being a big figure that maybe girls would like to have that figure or maybe she would just become really popular because she's kind of caught between the dark side and, you know, blah, blah, blah. I mean, she everybody hated be... her on the screen, though, it seems like. I know that there's certain figures that I know I'm going back here to, you know, vintage days of the eighties and nineties, but there, there's certain figures that, um, they would release like one per box. Yeah. And I don't know if that was on purpose or if they thought that they weren't going to sell as many of them. So they would release them one per box 
Um, I don't know how many Landos came in a box, but I'm sure quite a few, which is why those are out there. I just find it funny that, you know, Kenner or Hasbro, I don't remember who it was at the time, released these um, Alien, uh, not Alien 3, uh, the one after Alien 3. Um, I can't think of the name of it. The one that had... Um, Resurrection? Alien Resurrection with yeah. the famous, not Sigourney Weaver, but the other actress that was in um, Stranger Things, Winona. Winona Ryder. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So a friend of mine bought a box of Alien Resurrection figures, and op- a case. He opened the case, and I was looking through the case, fresh case, and I'm looking through the figures, and there's no Winona. There's only one Ripley, a couple other characters, a bunch of aliens, and just one Ripley figure. So the main character, they only have one of per box. Hmm. So to me, it's just like, well, obviously she's going to sell more because there's only one per box. And, and some of these other figures, I don't know why they did that. You know, I never understood why they packed boxes like that in the first place, unless they were going to put that one character in there twice because they knew that it would be a popular figure. Now, I mean, the toy companies just want to sell toys. They don't care if one's going to become an expensive collectible. I mean, now they're starting to care with some of the higher-end toys, like Hot Toys and yeah. Sideshow and things like that. But, of course, those companies care. But if you're going to put eight figures in the, in the wave and there's going to be seven characters and one doubled, I mean, the doubled character should be Boba Fett. The doubled character should be, um, you know, a, a really cool droid or mandalorian or you know you get what i'm saying to or put han the, solo or luke skywalker you know to put the double character as uh you know the yellow uh the yellow lo- loading droid from obi-wan kenobi you know that's doesn't they even can, talk like it's, they it's can dumb fi- they can fix this though by future future cases instead of putting like 19 landos in the box just put one that's it. Yeah, but Everybody see what happens is jumping like like fighting for the Landos then. Yeah. But see what that's that's the thing. You create a chase. Yeah. You create a chase figure by doing that, by short packing. So if you those. can't so now you can't get Lando from from that series, you'll grab the Lando right off the rack you know, from another series because mm. you just want to get Lando. So John, like Black Manta, how many per case? Uh, the series three, uh, wave three of the superpowers collection, there was one in a case, but they weren't distributed as much because the first two waves, they, I mean, Walmart still has the first two waves hanging on the shelf. Yeah. You know, except for man, Superman, you can't find those guys anywhere. But when the third wave came out, I think they were like, eh, maybe we ought to pump the brakes a little bit. So they didn't make as many figures for that, you know, for that third wave to distribute. But so it was even shorter packed than like anything that could have been in the first mm-hmm. wave or two, you know, um, but there was only one per case. And I know that my Walmart had that wave at one point, but that's the only Walmart that I, that I that I went to that I saw like the detective Batman is in that mm-hmm. wave and Aquaman. Um, I saw him one time, but no black Manta because somebody had already snagged it. It's crazy. Yeah. So they got like one case. Well, just going back to, you know, again, some theories or reasons why this, this might happen is I had, I found a Reddit thread where it was specifically the topic was, you know, what makes a peg warmer? You know, how does this happen? Uh, This is particularly about the Black Series, but it's, you know, general question. Uh, You know, an overabundance of of that character and and then the pricing that goes along with it. You know, Black Series now, I think, is up to $23.95, maybe $24.95. That's expensive for a single figure. I understand they're they're nice sculpts and they're well, well made, but... I mean, are you rushing to pay twenty five dollars for some of these ancillary characters? I tell you what, it's like um, the Marvel Legends when um, was it Black Panther two, the second mm-hmm. Black Panther movie came out, and Marvel Legends came out with a whole series that had to build a figure and everything. They're still sitting on the shelf. Mm-hmm. 
Here, here's the sad part. 50 out of like 75%, no one's even opening them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they're buying them and they're just storing them. Mm-hmm. But like little kids are not like playing. <clears throat> them. Right. You know, and you know what they're doing to um, encourage opening now is like uh, the DC. Uh, oh gosh, what is that? Mar- McFarlane's DC um, collection. I can't remember what the name of it is uh, right off the top of my head, but uh, that and Marvel Legends. Of, I guess about what five six years ago they started doing build a figures, and that encourages you know people to open. Yeah, for sure. I I mean. Over the years, Hasbro has gotten an, a fair amount of criticism from the fans about how they pack the waves. And, you know, we just talked about that a little bit with uh, there typically being one that's that's doubled in the box. But, uh, y- you know, like it, there's collectors that will buy a whole wave. They'll buy a box. Um, they'll want to get them in collector quality. Mm-hmm. But the stores are receiving them the same way. They're receiving those same wave boxes with the purple Hasbro stripe on it or whatever. And they're putting them on the, on the pegs out of those, you know, they're, they're not getting a whole box of Landos. They're getting boxes of waves typically, I believe. So, you know, you think Hasbro would know how to double that one character by now, but I also don't understand why is there one doubled character that's consistent? Why not just have six figures in a wave? If there's only six characters, why not have eight? If there's going to be eight in a box, like why would you why would you make it so there's only seven characters when you know that there's going to be eight going in the box? I don't I don't understand that part. Because mm-hmm. now you're doubling. It's not just like oh there's just one extra figure. You're doubling the the output of Lando compared to all the other characters. You know they're getting one per box and Lando's getting two. Of course there's going to be extras sitting around because they're putting out you know dozens of boxes of them and there's too many of one. Going where back they, to vintage, what do you guys remember? Go ahead, Charles. Sorry. Where do they go, though? So these things are warming the pegs, and then, mm-hmm. like, where do they go? Five below. Um, you go to yeah. like- I think they eventually get scooped up to go to a you know retailer like Ross, Marshalls, or whatever. Uh, or they'll be put on clearance, or they'll be stolen. It's TJ Maxx. I'm serious. I mean, Marshalls. Mm-hmm. Who would steal... A figure on clearance that nobody wants. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, why not? If if someone's like, yeah, it's on clearance, let me just grab it anyway. I don't know. We we were theorizing about this in a in a wins and whiffs either recently or maybe that didn't come out yet. You know how our show goes, but uh, we were theorizing. You know where do where do those discount retailers get the figures from? I think they're getting them from other retailers. I don't I don't think Hasbro is regularly selling those yeah, figures maybe, for cheap to to TJ maybe some Maxx. of our viewers know the deal there i don't know i'd like to know that as well yeah, yeah i mean maybe um, they are maybe they find hey we've got a, a warehouse loaded with lando calrissians get rid of them so so my the local store that i go to um toy shop that i go to they actually open a bunch of the black series figures and they will sell them as loose because a lot of people don't want to open a figure they feel bad for opening it mm-hmm I asked him this. I was like, I asked the guy, I sat him, he he was sitting there opening up Black Series for like an hour, all the Landos, all the common figures. I'm like, why are you opening them all? He's like, because some people feel bad about opening a figure and they'd rather not open it. So they'll just buy it loose for the same cost that it costs in the box. So he just opens them up and puts them in baggies and sells them that way. People buy them. People it sounds buying, really dumb, but it's a good mark. It's a good sales tactic by buying, him. I know what you mean. People buy them up. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you right now, I don't envy that guy because one time when I was selling my collection, there was somebody that bought a lot from me, like a big mo- Home Depot moving box full of them. And he goes, you know, you know how the shipping is on those things. They're they're heavier figures. They mm-hmm. they're all they're all over sixteen ounces pretty much once you put a, some bubble wrap around them. He says to me, if I buy these from you, can you ship them loose so I don't have to have such a big box? Because he literally bought like 30 or 40 figures. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, sure. You know, not. And I had to that point, I, I had never opened a Black Series figure. I think I bought 
Ray and uh, uh, Kylo Ren back originally for my daughter, and, I, and we opened those together. That was the only time I'd ever opened them. So I'm like, yeah, sure. When I tell you I had to sit here on the floor <laughs> in my office, oh, it took me over two hours to open these figures. You got to, you know, you, you cut them open. You got to pull the whole plastic tray out and all mm -hmm. the accessories are woven in the plastic of the tray. Yeah, they're all taped in there. You they're all taped. All in out. I was in misery. And, then, you know, of course, then I was wrapping them up really nice with bubble wrap. I'm like, <clears> why <throat> did I agree to this? All I had to do was toss them in a box. Yeah. And now I'm doing all this extra work. I'm like. You know, of course, you normally you'd buy those figures one or two at a time, and it's not a big deal to open one or two at a time and display them. But if that guy is is doing that to sell five dollar, eight dollar Black Series figures, I don't, I don't uh, envy him. It's it's misery. Well, then you open all of them and you send it to him, and he's like, "Yeah, they weren't really as described. <laughs> <laughs> You're screwed." Yeah. Well, I, I did, it, the guy was nice. I chatted with him and I said, "Listen, these are all mint in box. Like, the boxes even are really nice. Like, p tape is all sealed." And he's like, "Yeah, but I want to display them, and I don't want to pay, you know, a hundred dollars to ship them." I'm like, "All right, yeah, I just wanted to mm -hmm. sell them." And I was like, "Oh, what did I sign up for?" <laughs> uh, going back to vintage guys, yeah. what do you remember? Um, I know Charles remembers a lot from when he was three and four, but. Uh, what do you remember? Like, obviously, you know, so you could just guess some of the characters in the Kenner line. What, what do you imagine were the peg warmers then? So I looked um, right in between our break uh, when John, you know, he needed a five minute break mm -hmm. in between filming. Mm -hmm. So when I looked, it was the a huge peg warmer was the power of the four C-3PO. I don't remember it myself, but when I looked online, that was one of the top ones. And oh, then really? the one with the, uh, coin? the KB like two packs, like yeah. were f like five plus years sitting on shelves. Oh yeah. Yeah. That, that sounds right to me. I, I wish <laughs> I knew the true story behind those two packs. Cause you know, some people will just go, Oh, the KB packed those, you know, like did they really though? Like were they, they really did. packing them in the store? Or were they like done in, in some intermediary step and then just kind yeah, of shipped I, out to KB? I don't know if they were packed in the store. That sounds. They're not packed. I don't think they were packed in the store. Probably packed in like Hong Kong. Maybe like, like a distribution <laughs> center or something like that. Well, like were they really ripping open mocks and and throwing them into a new mock? Mocks. I think they were like overstock. Yeah, like just yeah. buckets of figures. Yeah, because most of them don't even have the accessories. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. But um, the superpowers, I remember Flash from the superpowers collection back in the day. That was a peg warmer. We're talking about uh, vintage Star Wars, John. He said vintage. He didn't say vintage <laughs> Star Wars. As a I matter of fact, he said vintage Kenner, and superpowers was Kenner. Thank you very much. You know, you know when John's serious because he moves within one milli millimeter of his microphone. He moves. He moves closer than than a hair on a peach. Isn't this called Five It Is Talking Toys, or is it Five It Is Talking Star Wars toys? Well, it's oh, uh, five, it's four idiots right now, not five. Oh, yeah. So, we um, Ch Charles, you Chris and I should bow out and just let them go at it now. Yeah, Chris is pre-confessing. I don't have I don't have enough energy to keep going. <laughs> Brandon is malnourished right now, just he like me. We're 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 vitamin deficient. We're starving. Like, I haven't had dinner yet. Okay. No. Well, you know the if you talk about vintage Star Wars, all of them were peg warmers at the end. Yeah, that's true. Right? Droids, Ewoks, yeah, Power of the Force, they were all just in bins for fifty cents a piece. Well, I'll tell. I you remember know, my, that. My story. Well, if you remember that, you should have bought them all. I know. Uh, I, what do you my, think? My I mean, story was seeing 50 cent yodas hanging yeah. on the pegs at lionel play world so yeah. yeah that was the thing where overabundance of figures also the movie line had already ran through its course mm -hmm. 
and there was no just like the mini rigs like they had a bunch of more mini rigs that were supposed to come out but Kenner decided against it because that was it for the movies right mm -hmm. not until the 90s when star wars was resurrected again did these toys pick back up and and you know that's when the new power of the force 2 line came out and all that so, so yeah. there's so the there's end of the movie line, line what's that toys do what there's a new line of toys shane oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, I was gonna say I, 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 I'm going. I'm like throwing it up, and Shane, I'm, I'm like, like what? Like, I'm like, like Shane, spike it. You're supposed Shane, to spike it. it. You you thought he was gonna like reveal and no. and, and say something, right? Well, let, let, let's let's rewind here. The whole the whole idea for this episode came yeah. due to Tales of the Jedi that we now see in stores. Uh, Charles knows all about it because he buys all the Lego sets, which are on clearance right now. Oh super cheap um but <clears throat> so the idea behind the episode is you know peg warming yes but now we have this new toy line that uh tales of the jedi this this new series that is you know cartoon only and is aimed for small children they also have a few play sets out a couple vehicles a bunch of figures now will that go the way of the peg warmer and also the way of will, droids and ewoks will it be worth something in the future you know yeah yeah, because Droids and Ewoks was based on a kid's cartoon. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, those I'm... are the most coveted toys right now. Now, so I've seen I've seen the the playset, right? And it's in every store, and I think it's like $80 or $60 or something. Right, well, I'm going to th I'm going to throw 35. up the uh, the screen that I have. Let's see what we what yeah. we have here. I just yeah, you know, just on Target, Young, Young Jedi, Jedi Adventures. Gotcha. Now, now these aren't regular figures. I mean, these are like so the nubs probably sells. That's why it's twenty eight bucks. Yeah, everybody wants nubs because he's an Ewok. Yeah, so I I guess they don't they have the playset here, but so these look like newer figure, newer vehicles. I've never seen those before. That little spaceship, yeah. um, the speeder yeah. bike. I've seen the speeder bike and stuff, but these are these are kind of like bigger figures meant towards for little kids, you know, so they don't put the little pieces in I'm, their mouth. But I'm on the side of I'm. I don't know about these, but I'm going to make the assumption the Lego sets will be worth money at some point because nobody wants them. Yeah, no because the, the minifigures they'll only release those minifigures there and yeah, then they won't be it. available and then they'll, they'll be never come out ever again. Now, oh, see, yeah, like, they... these kind of things, I, I, I don't foresee these things again. I, I'm talking more about, like, the play... See, the thing I struggle with is the play set because I know that there's very few play sets at these stores, right? You're talking through... Uh, max I've seen is, like, four in one store. Mm -hmm. There's the play set, yeah. Wow, look at that. $20. 20 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. It's all so, on clearance. It's I'm just wondering, money. like, hey, in a few years, is this going to be worth something? Because, you know, there's very sometimes, few of them at the stores. And... Sometimes they are because nobody wants them, so no yeah. one buys them. Yeah. You know, no one's uh, saving these things. Yeah. Yeah, and it, what, what, makes it, what makes the speculators speculate about things like this? Is it the obscurity of it? Is it the scarcity of it? Or The only or... thing is, is that, like, 15 20 years from now this show won't uh, be out again so yeah, yeah. Who's gonna really want it so exactly because well, what same could be said about the droid stuff that too yeah but look at step away from star wars for a second and look yeah. at some of the other toy lines that were released that nobody cares about right now that had yeah. play sets you know look at nubs it's, it's insane. still 28 dollars. it's more than the play set Everybody wants nubs. You can get nubs for thirteen bucks. The four pack. Yeah, yeah, I just saw that. That's just right here. You can get the. You can get nubs in the four pack. I guess it's a different one, but. A different yeah. nub. That's the nub with a helmet. Now that. Now the vehicle, like, the Crimson Firehawk. I've seen it for sale for like twelve dollars. Really? That's yeah. actually a pretty cool vehicle. My son has that one. Yeah. Uh, the Lego set is uh, fifty bucks. Yeah, and 
it's already down to like 30. Well, like um, Clone Wars figures, I had no idea. You know, I bought a lot from uh, locally from this guy that came into the shop and he wanted to sell his um, modern Star Wars stuff. I was like, I don't know anything about modern Star Wars, really, to be honest with you. And I threw out a number. He's like, okay. And I started looking up the value of these and I was like, holy crap. I mean, there were some figures that were two or three hundred dollars. So oh, wow. I was at the flea market with a, a friend of mine, and we we're looking for stuff. And um, there was a clone trooper in a box. I didn't think anything of it. I took it out. I looked at it. Asked the guy how much. A dollar. I was like, eh. Threw it back. Don't care about clone troopers. Mm-hmm. Buddy, he he picks it up. He's like, I'll buy it for a dollar. He just looks it up. Right when we were walking away on eBay, 20 something bucks for that figure. I was like, oh my God, really? Yeah. He's like, yeah, some of these clone troopers are worth a lot of money. People love clone, clone troopers. troopers. Yeah. yeah. You, so now you I buy, buy every clone, clone trooper for a dollar. Anything <laughs> clone trooper. Yeah. Got to think of the other generations. Maybe other generations will like this stuff and, you know, buy nubs. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, I'm just looking to see if I can find any other. Uh, it's got to be one of those. It's got to be one of those deals where it's like, you know, 15 years from now, some kid goes, "Hey, do you remember that show, The Young Jedi Adventures? Mm-hmm. Didn't they have toys about that? That'd be kind of cool if they had toys. About- oh, they did have toys about those, and then that's mm-hmm. kind of the whole thing. How it is? Like, is is it like well? Uh, a receptive or I I've, I've never heard of it. it. My kids love the show. It's it's on yeah. Disney yeah. Plus. It's no uh idea. you know like I don't it's have a Disney kitty Plus. show. It's, it's a kitty, a kitty show. show. It's the next wave of you know Padawans. They're learning from Master Yoda, and I, I've never said I couldn't even I I couldn't even tell you who's who because I I'm always like in the other room. I can kind of hear it going on. I, I mean I'll be in the kitchen and they're in the other room. So I don't know the characters, but uh, yeah, they, they like it. I put it on for my daughter one day. She was homesick or something, and I was like, hey, check this out. You know, my daughter's nine. She's not, you know, a four-year-old anymore. But she she liked it. She watched, like, you know, a handful of episodes, and then she got my son into it. So uh, so where does this fall on the timeline? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> After? I think, I think Yoda's, like, not... Before episode three. So super old. <laughs> Yeah, I don't yeah. know, um, but I'm. I'm, I'm yeah, you curious. see all them? They're all dead. They died in episode three. <laughs> <laughs> Order sixty six. Let's see if uh, they have any of that clearance stuff on here. Do they have? So they so they got the play set for forty bucks. How much was Target? Twenty. Twenty. Oh. Yeah, and all that that stuff too is like, it's relative to where you are. Yeah. Really, yeah. That's what I've noticed. Um, because these they're way cheap. Like I don't have any none of that stuff on clearance over here. Uh, the Lego stuff is. I yeah, sent Charles a picture. The whole nineteen bucks, I think. The normally forty, so half off. Yeah. Yeah, I think what started this whole thing was I was tempted to buy all of this Young Jedi stuff because I was like, "Is this going to be the next?" You know, I think mm-hmm. I messaged the group and I said, "Is this going to be the next droids slash Ewoks?" Yeah, I mean these are these are really geared towards young yeah. kids. I mean these, these are, are like towards like three to three to these, eight year olds. These like are that. like the Fisher Price Ewoks that came out. Remember those sets? Yeah, yeah. And look at those. You don't see the thing is, is that these figures you can't. These figures aren't like the droids or Ewoks. They're different scale. Yeah, they're just different figures. They don't. They're not interchangeable with old vehicles you know what i mean like yeah. they're just they're bigger and bulkier and you know like the ewoks from fisher price like they're meant for smaller kids so there's people that collect the fisher price stuff but like i never thought of adding that to my collection you know yeah yeah i think this is definitely you know dependent on like you said, the area you're in, if your Walmart has more than another Walmart and they just want to clear them out. Because I'm not seeing any amazing prices online. These are these are deals you're going to have to find brick and mortar walking through the store. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Except for that playset. I mean, that playset uh, mm-hmm. on uh, on Target here. I mean, twenty bucks. Yeah, that's it's, a it's good. Double deal. the price on on. Uh... Now Shane, they're saying Shane's regular buying it. They're saying regular price is forty one, but meanwhile on Walmart, bunch of crooks. <laughs> they, their their sale price is forty dollars, and they're saying the regular, regular price is fifty six. Yeah, I so think what's... it's a sixty dollars set. I don't know what targets. Well, also, of. also on Walmart dot com, they do a lot of you. Know, you got to figure out who's selling it. Sold by PCI. Sold by PCI. LLC. Yeah, it's not Walmart. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Walmart. Okay. Pro seller. Yeah, they have a lot of third party sellers on there. Yeah, it's yeah, like Amazon. So fulfilled by, yeah. Here, compare all sellers. Got Amazon on here. Young Jedi is twenty forty nine. for me, too. Yeah. Free shipping, 35 bucks. Only four left in that store. That store's not even near me. That store's like over 45 minutes away and almost an hour away. I don't know why it does that. It doesn't pick up your location. They're almost sold out at every single store. Here, shop Star Wars. What else we got? There's only a few of them. Oh, is this the... I'm about uh, to pick up a couple of these things. (laughs) Is this thing out? I don't know. That's what I was... I think I thought this was a pre-order. No, this is already out. Yeah. Did you guys watch it in the movie theater? No. Yeah, I did. It's still there. My neighbor, my neighbor wants me to go again on Thursday, but I don't think I can do it. I might go again too. Yeah, I'm awesome. gonna try to go again during the week here while well, it's already Monday, and I don't know why they don't leave this thing in the theater for more than a week. Yeah. There has to be something with like the rights or Have you guys found blue milk. Week. It's still in the know. theater this week. I even went to the website just out of curiosity because there's a website that tells you where they carry it. There's not a store anywhere near me that has it. What is website that is that? I don't know. Just Google it. Mine's uh, running. Uh, mine's running through Sunday. And no, 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 the, no. the blue milk, the blue milk. Oh, that. There, like if you oh, Google yeah, 20... the blue milk, there's a, the company that makes it. You can look yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty forty nine as well here. So in California, where everything's expensive, and the four pack is thirteen dollars. We have the blue milk at um, at um, oh, what's it called? I can't think of Piggly place. Wiggly. No. Can you send me some? What's the name of it? What's the brand of it? True. T R O O M O O. When we talked about it in my house, my wife was like, "So you're gonna buy milk with blue food coloring in it?" I'm like, "Well, yeah, it's also vanilla flavored." She's like, Bars. "So, yeah." I'm like, like, "I don't know. I'm just telling you." Vanilla it exists. flavored milk. No, thank you. Well, John, have you ever heard of a vanilla milkshake? Yeah, but it's a milk. It's ice cream, not milk. <laughs> Same thing. He's like vanilla. Ugh. Vanilla flavored milk, barf. <laughs> All right, have we uh, run out of things to say here about yes. this? I think topic. I think correct. I think we've uh, wrapped it up pretty tightly. I I, I feel like right. I remember nine nub from the original original line, like just being too many of those. I'm sure Lobot at some point, Lobot, you know, so back yeah. in like garbage. You know what it is? It's also uh, there were also more peg warmers of things like hammerhead because by the time you got to return of the jedi everybody already had that figure who wanted right. it and now yeah. it's been released on three separate card backs over mm-hmm. the course of five years of this thing on the shelves you know mm-hmm. by by 1984 no one was buying hammerhead no yeah. you know so like you like you said they were all peg warmers at one point but um that's also a factor. You know, some of those Return of the Jedi figures were released, you know, just in 83, but some of them were, you know, were five years old already. I mean, how many more people yeah. needed to buy a Greedo, you know, or, um, you know, Snaggletooth? I mean, pff, probably there's probably there's probably a ton of them sitting around at that point. Yep. All right. Yep. 
Um, well, the frustrating thing for me, the last thing I'll say is when I was collecting modern, the peg warmers, and this was going around in the groups, there was a sense that the peg warmers that were in the stores were holding up the store from putting new inventory out. And, you know, if the if the, the Star Wars pegs, which we know at some points there were very few of those, you know, like it's a, it got it to be a smaller and smaller section at certain points when there was no movie out. If there was a dozen Landos there and 14 Rays and, mm -hmm. you know, something else that nobody wanted, it was like, how many months in a row are you going to visit the toy aisle and see that that's the Star Wars section? They're not going to put anything else out. So I don't know if that's accurate or not, but, um, well, you know, stores think, would stop maybe ordering if they had stuff they needed to sell. Yeah, I think it definitely affected the super the modern superpower stuff because they're on wave seven and Walmart still has wave two. Mm. I can't yeah. even find this blue milk anywhere. <laughs> so anyway, correct. The blue Peg milk is rare. It's a lot more rare than Lando. Correct. Blue milk is not a peg warmer. All right. That is going to do it for this episode. Thanks very much for tuning in to another Sunday night of Five Idiots Talking Toys. Please uh, check out our channel. We've got a few, a few different playlists of lots of episodes in the past. You can run through those as you have time. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon. You'll be notified of new episodes that we put out throughout the week. And you can check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash 5 talking toys for more content and previews of everything that we do. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time on 5 Idiots. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Bye Lando. <laughs> oh, Bye. he's still here. Oh, what do we have here?